The process started with some initial meetings. As soon as we came down here to O'Brien and Gear to visit, we talked about uh, potential candidates and uh, you know looked over resumes and decided uh, whose uh, background was in line for the types of services that we were looking for. Um, Jason McLeod's resume spoke very highly of uh, what we were looking for from the sustainability and energy side of uh, where the business has taken us. I was an environmental consultant for Brian and Gear, and my co-op was pretty awesome. The experience is it's just a huge resume builder. There's what you're going to learn through um, through book structure, and then there's there's the actual boots on the ground type of work. It's totally different working in a professional environment than it is in a classroom. But I would I would say the what was most important was how I grew as far as my technical communication goes. We're looking for co-ops who are, uh, are self-starters, who have good communication skills, good writing skills. Technical communication was a huge skill that I had a chance to develop at O'Brien and Gear, whether it was writing reports, uh, energy assessments, or even just emails and talking to people. The way you the way that your demeanor is different in a professional business setting than it is in the classroom. Uh, often I um, found myself telling many of my coworkers that he reminded me of a two to three year experienced uh, scientist or engineer who's in our group. So uh, very professional, outgoing, uh, easy to work with, with clients. I was afforded the opportunity to work for about 40 different clients and go to about 25 different training sessions. Jason was initially scheduled to be with us for spring 2012. We liked him so much that we kept him, or, or I asked him to stay on through uh, the end of summer. I'm definitely gonna tell others about this co-op experience and highly suggest and encourage them to do the same because it's, it's a tough job market and without experience it's hard to find a position right out of college anywhere. Our program started probably on a formal basis uh, 10 years ago or so. Um, it gives us a chance really to have a what I'll call an eight-week job interview. It goes back as far as I can remember and I've been here for several years. Um, we uh, have a long relationship with Oswego. It was about an eight-week program and uh, it really allowed me to to enter the field and really get hands-on experience working in uh, a relatively small office. Uh, they're performing meaningful work for us and, and also working in an environment that allows us to get a, a good look at them as well as for the candidate to get a good look at us. It allowed me to, uh, to really see uh, several different uh, client engagements um, in, in numerous different industries and it really allowed me to take my, my classroom experience, uh, take that and put it really in, into hands-on knowledge. From client experiences, to, uh, to working and asking questions of, of members of the client staff, uh, to gathering data, uh, putting it together, uh, following direction, contributing in a meaningful way to getting an audit done. So when I, when I was brought into KPMG, the, they paired me up with a performance coach and they also paired me up with a mentor. They, they just work closely with someone who they can go to with questions, who they can go to for guidance, who can um, sort of show them the ropes as it were. And uh, throughout my experience, I met with both of them frequently uh, to, to judge and value, you know, the work that I was actually doing and have, you know, professional input uh, and, and not criticism, but evaluation on how I've been performing. Uh, we grabbed a, uh, an energetic, uh, intelligent uh, young man off of campus and put him in a situation where he was able to learn and see what we do in public accounting on a day-to-day -day basis as well as dive in in terms of the meeting the people, uh, hanging out with the people, becoming part of uh, the team in, in a fairly small office, and he excelled on every one of those. My experience, I felt, was extremely worthwhile. Uh, as a result, at the end of uh, my eight, week, eight weeks here, I was actually extended a full-time offer, which uh, I accepted almost immediately, uh, and I'll be starting at KPMG in 2013. We're in a very highly technology intensive industry, one that requires specialized skill sets that are very difficult to find. And SUNY Oswego worked with us to 
help us develop a talent pool that might be able to meet those skill gap needs. And I look at, uh, you know, locally, start, start my searching locally, I start with SU, Syracuse University, and uh, I look at a few candidates and I found some ca a few candidates and also extend my searching all the way to um, um, Cornell University. I also got a few candidates here. And one day I, you know, spoke to the HR. The HR said SUNY Oswego got this program and uh, they can offer students. So I'm like, okay, it's a option, you know, because I have not closed my deadline yet. It's just a option. So I got Amy Lalonde's um, resume. And her resume really stands out um, of all the students that uh, the, the candidate pool that I'm having. So I kind of planned on taking off the summer and kind of preparing for grad school. Um, I received a lot of advice to do so because I'm entering into a pretty rigorous program. But then I stumbled upon this opportunity from one of my professors on campus and it just kind of seemed too good to um, pass up. So I applied and I received the position and um, here I am. I've been working for two months and I've learned so much more than I could ever have thought. Uh, I'm working in the, the clinical department. I'm their statistician. We are all very happy with her. She is part of our group. She merged into the group right away and uh, uh, she provided a lot of help that as we need. So I'm going to stay on as a, on a project by project basis but it seems also, again like an opportunity I can't pass up because who knows, in five years I might need a job and Welch Allen is really what I want to do. She brings her skills and fill up, fill up the gap. And also I think she learns a lot from us, uh, in, my, in my personal opinion, um, especially a lot of um, skills to work as a statistician later on. She probably will need to develop to have the skill work with her client, how to merge into the project, how to understand the project, to jump right in. Um, so the, I think the SUNY Oswego HCI program really prepares students well to be on a user experience team. Uh, we treat our co-ops as employees. We really plug them right into the team. They have responsibilities within the group. I first discovered uh, this opportunity at Welsh Allen through my advisor, Damien. Uh, he had uh, already established contact with John McGloon and uh, already kind of made that connection and uh, let me know that the opportunity was there. Well, first of all, I developed a lot of new skills in uh, specific programs like FrameMaker and XML and HTML, learning how to uh, tag instructions uh, so that they're content addressable, content searchable. One of the big projects that I've been working on over the summer, uh, with John in particular, is a kind of a design process uh, write-up of, of sorts, um, just to kind of clarify, organize, and condense information. We have folks who come from a human-computer interaction background, others who come from an industrial design background, a variety of levels of experience. I come from a uh, big usability background, um, user experience methods and things like that. Um, you know, learning how user-centered design is important and such. And actually coming to Welsh Allen and having that experience in a real-world setting. So we look at the, the co-op program really as a trade-off and we try to put in from the supervisors and, and leaders really some extra mentoring with the, the students. What co-op allows you to do is take the questions and topics that you learned in school and find out how they apply to the real world in a company setting, in a workplace atmosphere. And what you learn there in your workplace is how uh, that information really applies. I have actually had a few people ask me if they should apply for a co-op or for Welsh Allen and I've absolutely told them uh, definitely you know I've, I've recommended that they absolutely look for this kind of opportunity because it's you're not going to get it anywhere else. The people that we've had join us are technically excellent they are highly marketable and will be very relevant in the marketplace and they've been a tremendous asset to us and so we're very grateful for the partnership that we have with SUNY Oswego 
We're anticipating that, that those opportunities will only grow in the future, and we really look forward to working with SUNY Oswego to make its students as good as they can be and help us to be as good of an organization as we can be.